he drops on me that a few years ago, Sheena and I made out in Vegas. I went back and forth, whether I should talk to Sheena first or Katie first. I don't love that they kept that for so long. Yeah, and I decided that I needed to talk to Katie first. This reality TV queen has gone from rebel server to, dare we say it, this season's voice of reason? She sure has. And as we near the dramatic finale, you know she's going to continue to give you Lala. From Vanderpump Rules, please welcome Lala Kit, everybody. Yay! Hi, you guys. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, your life right now, you just bought a new house. You're expecting baby number two. You're living your best life. How are you feeling? I feel so happy. I feel empowered and independent. It's just like a life that I never knew that I would have, mm -hmm. but I'm so grateful for. Yeah. It is wild. I'm like, wow, I really, I used to listen to, um, is it Independent Women? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was Destiny's like, Child. yes, and I would be like, Oh, she paid for her own house and her jewelry, and now I'm looking down. I'm like, I paid for all this. There's shoes my on house. your feet. <laughs> you got it. it. Yes. By the way, we can pay for it. We don't like to pay for it. Right. Exactly. But now that you're a boss, does it mean something different to you? It does. It represents all the hard work that I have put into just this life and how I said, this is what I want. And when I say I'm going to do something, you bet that I'm going to do it. I love that. Well, it feels like you're in such a good place. And it, I mean, to us, it seems like you're in such a good place. But Andy Cohen recently said that this season of Vanderpump Rules has been mm -hmm. your best season yet. Now, I want to know if you agree with Andy. That is so wild to me because I was very vulnerable this season. Mm -hmm. And it, I walked out of it thinking, like, it's not going to be a great season and you have to be OK with that. Things were different. Um, I feel much more comfortable in defense mode with my Duke sub, which is so <laughs> wild to me. It's like, why are you feeling more insecure about people watching you cry and make sense than like double gunning and yelling yeah. at people? Isn't that strange? It's kind of strange. I feel, I feel like the authenticity really came through, though, this year. Not that you haven't been authentic before, but I think it's a different side it's of It's a different you. layer we yes. got. Right. Well, this is, I think, the first time that you guys have seen me out of my old relationship and also processed. I'm, I've processed what I went through and really come to terms with what my reality is now. You know, that was a tough crossroads where it's like we can like really deep dive into this six foot hole. Yeah. Or we can choose to be happy. And I chose to be happy. Yeah. I'm dying to know because, you know, I'm a Scorpio and I love when my Ooh. ex see me succeed. <laughs> I'm Scorpio rising. He's going to rising. Tell you. So are you hoping that Randall is seeing this side of you from, you know, being in the tabloids or on TV that you are succeeding? Because I bet there's a part of him that didn't really think that you could do it on your own. I don't really think about him, but because we're still in our custody stuff and there are things that the lawyers write back and forth, I'm like, oh, you do see me. Yeah. <laughs> you see me real nice. Oh, absolutely. I mean, clear view. Well, now let's talk about after the news broke about Scandal. So the women in the cast really came together. So let's take a look at what you said to Andy Cohen at Watch What Happens mm. Live just a few months ago. Who do you currently trust the most? You know, Katie's, Katie's a vault. Okay. Girls evolve. Okay, who do you currently trust the least? Honestly, I, I they're all three of them. I would trust them with my life, honestly. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, boy, have times have changed. <laughs> now, we want to see where you stand today with a round of Notes on a Scandal. Ooh. Yes, so we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Who currently has the bigger ego, Tom or Ariana? Oh, Ariana's blowing us all out of the water. Even me, really? <laughs> which is wild. <laughs> now, I'm very curious about Maya the dog. Justice for Maya, who deserves custody? Oh, Ariana. Oh, that's her baby. Okay, yes. who should get custody of the assistant and <laughs> Tom or Ariana? Honestly, I'm ready to throw her on the give them Lala payroll, where, <laughs> where you get benefits, you got health care, retirement. Like, where has this poor girl been working? So Lala has entered the chat now. Yes, she right? wants to She's answer herself. In. So, exactly. Now, does Sheena have the right to make Scandal about herself, or is she being dramatic? I don't think she's being dramatic. I think that sometimes she misses the mark just a tad where I understand where she's coming from. She's not trying to make it about herself. She's trying to come from a place of like, I understand, but we don't quite land the plane. Mm, okay. You know? No, I get that. She's got the best heart in the world. Yeah.
who should be the next Vanderpump Rules cast member to compete on Dancing with the Stars, Sheena or Tom? Please give it to my friend Sheesh. I'm begging you. Right? <laughs> yes, it's so cute she and I want to watch her. This. Yes, and now we can't let you go without asking you about the reunion. Are we going to get old school Lala or are we going to get, you know, any kind of like hints that you can give us about the reunion? I think you're getting a brand new Lala and the reunion, they've done something that they've never done before and it was genius and so uncomfortable. Um, and just thinking about it, my heart is pounding. We are Stay here for it. Yeah, okay, we love uncomfortable. <laughs> Lala, thank you so much for stopping by thank tonight. Thank you for having me. Vanderpump Rules airs Tuesday nights at 8 on our sister network, Bravo, and streams the next day on Peacock.